right there. Right over the top of that. I will push upward today. Touch with the corner of the brush and give it an upward push. Or as my son Steve says, if you've watched him on some of the shows, he says, moosh it. Give it an upward moosh. Just push it. There. Very dark, though. Very, very dark. Okay. There's a tree. And I think there was a big one that went clean off the canvas right there. So push upward. And there we go. Great big old tree. Big old tree. And just work down, down, down. And you push harder and harder as you work down the tree. Just really get in there and push. Down here we don't care. We'll separate all of this with highlights. You could put this part on with a with a paint roller. Another tree. Maybe he lives right there. And the same thing. Give it a little upward push. Upward push. Big strong tree. It goes right on off the canvas. And sometimes it's neat to leave a little bit of the little piece of the trunk showing. We'll do that. How's that? Little naked spot. There. Now sometimes in some parts of the country the limbs hang down on evergreens and other parts of the country they go up. Or like when I lived in Alaska, you can go some places, they hang down, some places they go up. Maybe it just depends on how they felt that day. Actually, I think it has something to do with the amount of water and cold and everything. But who knows? You just, I don't try to understand everything in nature. I just look at it and enjoy it. Just a little light strike in the trunk right there where it's going to show like that. Okay. I have several little fan brushes going. Let's take some yellow and some of that same color we used to make the tree. Maybe I'll reach up here, be right back, get a little black. I want to dull it. There, good, good. Very good. Black and yellow make a beautiful green. Now then, sometimes even a little brown. Oh, that, yeah, that dulls it down even more. Okay, now we can go up in here and just begin placing a few little highlights on some of these trees. Once again, we're still pushing upward though. This is where you separate them and put all their little arms on them. Look at that. Isn't he a cute little rascal? This is my little friend Clyde here. I give them names, shoot. People look at you like you're a little weird, but you know, painters are expected to be a little, little different. A little different. And that's all right. That's all right. I've always been a little weird, so no big deal. Everybody who knows me expects that. There. Okay, just right on down. But think about shape and form and how you want the limbs to look. Because this is where we separate all them little rascals. Darker, darker, darker down here. And if you don't add any more paint, that will happen automatically. Automatically, because you're running out of color. And you're picking up the dark color that's on the canvas. So automatically. If you allow it to happen, it'll get darker and darker as it works down. There. There's another one. Look at all them rascals. You can just make as many or as few as you want here. Up to you.